your kill rate with indoor plants is higher than your success rate, oh dear, then I've got some problem solving tips for you. Although they're stuck inside, you'd be surprised how often indoor plants come under attack from pests. If you've noticed little black flying things hanging around your indoor pots, then you've got an outbreak of fungus snaps. Now these tiny little things can actually cause your plant to wilt and slow its growth rate down. Because they live in the potting mix, the control solution is simple. A dunk in a dilution of econeme. Pop your pot into soak until the bubbles stop. Then leave it somewhere to drain before letting it back inside. Too much water can be a death sentence for indoor plants. Soggy potting mix starves the roots of oxygen and can affect plant health and growth. Overwatered plants may have yellowing leaves, burnt leaf tips or wilting leaves. My rule, do the poke test and only water your house plants when the potting mix feels dry. And don't let water pool around the roots. You should tip out water from self-watering pots or sources. On the other hand, potting mix, if left neglected, can sometimes set like concrete and this stops the water getting down to the roots where it's needed. The solution is another dunk. This time in a solution of eco-hydrate. This stuff will help evenly wet the soil and rejuvenate the plant. And my last tip is simple. Read the label the plant comes with because on here you're going to find out if it likes basking in full sun or greening up a dark corner.